Welcome everyone to this first lecture of the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In this uh, first lecture, I want to introduce a few practical things related with the course. The first one is to introduce ourselves. Uh, professor uh, Julius Smith, he's a professor at Stanford University at the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, under whom I did uh, my PhD quite a few years ago, and uh, from whom I learned most of the things uh, I know on audio signal processing. Uh, myself, uh, my name is Javier Serra, and I teach at the Pompeu Fabri University in Barcelona, and I lead a research group in music technology. And we have two teaching assistants in the course, Ajay Srinivasamurti and Sankal Gulati. They are both doing their PhD under my supervision in Barcelona, and of course they work on music and audio uh, technology topics. Uh, despite these pictures, uh, we are definitely not professional performers, but we are definitely music lovers. We love to play and uh, we love to listen to music. And the main reason we are in this uh, topic is because we want and we like uh, to develop uh, uh, engineering tools that can be of relevance to music. So what is this course about? Well, it's basically about signal processing, about audio music, about programming techniques that are relevant uh, to audio music, and about understanding and making sounds. Who is this course for? Well, it's for anyone interested in understanding how to analyze and process musical sounds. But you have to be able to follow mathematical formulations, use a programming language, and use sound processing software. You definitely don't have to be an engineering student, but you have to have some technical background. The course is 10 weeks long, and every week uh, covers a particular topic, and every particular topic is presented through different perspectives. Through the theory lectures, we present the more mathematical and signal processing point of view. Through the programming lectures, we present the applied a point of view in which you learn how to implement things. And finally, uh, through the demo lectures, uh, you understand the more uh, applied point of view, the, the use of these techniques and how these techniques uh, can be of relevance for uh, sound and music. Then we have some more advanced topics and references that will allow you to view and understand other related topics. And uh, every week we'll have some assignments. Uh, specifically some programming assignments and some quizzes. In fact, the, the evaluation uh, is done every week and uh, there is a weekly quiz that counts five points and there is a weekly assignment that counts for ten points. And these weekly assignments are the programming assignments. And then there are two surveys, one at the beginning of the course, one at the end of the course that we would like very much you to fill, so uh, we also give it uh, two points for uh, filling up the surveys. One uh, fundamental uh, concept in the course is that uh, we decided to have everything open. So all the videos, slides, uh, all the materials that uh, we have created for the course are available under Creative Commons licenses, uh, especially the attribution non-commercial share-alike license. All the software that we have developed and that we use in the course is also available freely under the Affair GPL license. Most of the references that we use, if they are not ours, they come from open uh, repositories like uh, Wikipedia or some uh, other uh, related sites. And we will be using sounds. So all the sounds we use uh, come from freesound.org, which is uh, a website that uh, hosts uh, Creative Commons uh, sounds. In this uh, short lecture, uh, we have presented some practical things related with the course. There is much more information in the website. So please uh, make sure that uh, you understand the context of the course, and how the course is run, uh, especially before you actually go deep into the course. So that's all for today, and uh, I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you.